Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how you can actually tag uh, a bulk number of photos without actually needing to go to each photo one at a time and then add the location, go to the next photo, add the location. Um, you may have to do a little bit of, of that with the method I'm gonna show you here, depending on what photos you're working with, but this may overall probably be a lot faster for you. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Google and just type in download Picasa. If you end up on Picasa web, that's actually just like an internet-based version of Picasa. This is going to be a download. You wanna make sure you get to this page and download Picasa. Um, very simple to install this. And once it's done, you're gonna load it up. Um, you can pick the defaults to just let it, you know, pick all the default pictures it finds on your computer. And then once that's done, I'm actually gonna walk you over there now. So here's Picasa, and you can see I've got tons of different photo, uh, folders over here on the left. And I've decided to take some kitchen photos from one of my clients and just use this as an example. So I'm gonna take this photo here. It's kind of like got the green background, nice wood floors, and uh, nice refreshed kitchen here. And if you look over at the bottom right, you can see there's a little show hide places panel. And if I click that, it's gonna bring a Google map in here. And what we can actually do is type in a specific address so I know that this guy actually works uh, a lot of uh, jobs in the Derry, New Hampshire area. So we can type in Derry, New Hampshire, and it's gonna tag that area and it's gonna ask us, do we wanna place the photo here? We're gonna say yes. And you're gonna see once the photo is tagged, it's gonna add this little marker. And the best thing about this is if you already have a lot of photos, I mean, I imagine if you're a business, let's say you've been in business for years and you've just got like two or 300 photos sitting around, it's very possible some of them could already be tagged. And you might be asking, well, what would make an image get tagged um, versus an image that wouldn't get tagged? Uh, pretty much, if you take an image, uh, you know, you take a photo with your cell phone and your GPS is enabled, then it should already have the tag in it. You can see here out of these kitchen photos, none of them are actually tagged, but this one actually was tagged. And if I double click it, I can actually go in and uh, learn a little bit more about the photo if I hit info here I can kind of go through and see what's going on with it you can see it's already been tagged with a location so pretty much all you would need to do uh, let me go back here back to the library up at the top left I could basically select multiple pictures and just put them all in dairy it's gonna say put five photos here hit OK and the easy way to do this you just hold down control and just select every photo you want and these photos have already been uploaded to the Google My Business page for this client. So I'm just gonna do this as an example. So I've tagged all these different photos. Now you can see, put all 14 photos here, bam. And you can see I've now tagged every single one. So I do this right before I upload it to Google My Business. This makes it a lot faster.